good evening, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on March 17th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. I'm sorry, so late on this video. I haven't released in a couple days, but check this sun dog out. And that's when they're spraying. And this is what our skies look like when they're not. This is how our day started out yesterday. This is how it looked today when they're not spraying. Just check it out, look up once in a while, folks. We're going to start looking out at the sun here because we do have an active sunspot, earth facing and incoming, and could be unstable. We're going to be looking down at this spot right here coming. Positive negative polarities, battling forces. And you can see on the left side there, the bottom left side, there's a lot of activity. This is the sunspot region that we're looking at. You can see right there, positive and negative. Charging up. Looking at our sun in a different light here. able to see all the plasma ejecting from our sun as well as the cosmic energy that is just exploding on this star and we are, here we are now five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike looking over North America and western parts of Alberta and British Columbia warming up here the next week looking at maybe 16 degrees Celsius by Friday We'll see. But still, we've got some cold nights here at Alberta. Temperatures thicken in the minus 1, minus 2 degrees Celsius. 5-day forecast doesn't show here above 14 degrees. By the network saying 19. We'll see. Because we do have a lot of snow still falling in Alaska. 500 centimeters of snow is expected over the next 10 days in these areas right here. And look at those strong, tight isobars. The black level there, those are really strong totals of snow accumulation. So stay aware and prepared parts of Alaska. You're going to be getting buried 500 centimeters of snow in the next 10 days. Also overlooking here, Kamchatka has Shevelich and Aboko both ejected mass amounts of ash as their, their volcanoes exploded two days ago, leaving huge 100 mile long gray patches of ash on the land. I'll get to that with the volcanic activity report coming up soon. Looking here at Tropical Storm Trevor, who is heading to northeastern parts of Australia, gonna head across Queensland as well as we have Tropical Storm Savannah on the northwestern side of Australia right now. Savannah heading out to open sea. And Idai is still kind of alive and man, the devastation coming out of Mozambique and Zimbabwe. This storm has been massive as it is rotated back and forth between Madagascar and Mozambique since March second look for that video coming up i'm going to be getting into that there is strong atlantic anomalies coming up here this season south america torrential downpours mass evaporation due to our collapsed magnetosphere welcome to the new mini ice age we have not seen anything yet the battle will go on the warm air against the cold air also watch here in Florida, there's going to be some pretty nasty storms off the southern tip of Florida, heading through the Gulf of Mexico. And I think that's where the United, most of the United States hurricanes are going to come from. It's from the Pacific, believe it or not. We shall see. 
there are a lot of changes coming in our atmosphere that we can see the effects every day. Scientists, meteorologists, astrologists are almost baffled. And it's a lot harder now to predict the weather with all these changes. So stay aware and prepared and thank you so much for joining Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide posting my weather analysis from around the world and disaster alerts as they happen. Trying my best anyway, I got a full-time job, I got children. It's really tough to, to juggle everything. But here I am and thank you for being here with me. We're gonna go to earthquakes now. The last 24 hours for earthquakes has been pretty quiet in North America, except for this 3.1 in Bandon, Oregon. No, that's not it. That's a chicknick, whatever. Come on, now work with me here. Yes, so 3.1, banned in Oregon. 2.7 in Utah. And 3.0 in Oklahoma. Now it pretty much moves from east to west in a straight line. We've got a lot of tectonic movement going on around the world right now. Very deep earthquakes, 535 kilometer depth here in Fiji, Indonesia. There are some devastating videos coming out of Indonesia. Villages have collapsed. Stay aware and prepared, world, and God bless humanity, because we are going through some pretty crazy times. Look at all these deep earthquakes, East Timor, Malaysia, Taiwan, my friend Steve, I think it's Taiwan or Thailand he's moving to, can't remember, but stay aware and prepared, my friends and family from around the world. Mariana's Trench was going off as well, 4.6, so this is a steady 4.6 and 4.5 movement all across the Ring of Fire right now. And then, of course, we have our quiet zones. Even the North Atlantic Plate. 4.5, 4.7 movement. I want to thank you all for watching today and be sure to stay tuned to Morning Dew. Hit that notification bell. Get in the comment section. Say hi. Much love to all of you. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your Morning Dew. Here's the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. Watch for my watch regions at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.